so Battlefield 3 has been out for quite a while now it's out for the PC the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox I'm reviewing the PlayStation 3 PS3 in heaven uh, Battlefield is it's an excellent game the multiplayer is incredible if you love first person shooters you, and you love playing online Battlefield 3 is definitely one for you it's uh, it's different to uh, obviously Call of Duty in like the Black Ops and Modern Warfare. It's got bigger maps and it's got vehicles, and for me, it feels a bit more realistic. Not in the sense of like it takes a couple of shots to kill you. In the sense of uh, it's the sounds better. It, it's not like uh, you're quickly spawning and running, and gunning. Except for like in team death match, which I've added, it's more of, you can actually play it as a squad. It's not like a more solo game. It's yeah, the team play is a much bigger aspect than in like Call of Duty games and, and that is like Ghost Recon. I think not as much, but it does a great job of the on multiplayer. One thing that does let about World free down. It, is the story it's a it's a good story it's not like bad or anything it's just it doesn't really do anything really different it's pretty much you're going to this point to do this and you well you complete the mission what you gotta do but it follows the story that someone's got bomb he wants to blow it up and you see how you get from there so uh, like the last bit of the story it goes back to the start and then pulls out the blanks it's it's a good it's a good story it's just it gets a bit boring when the only real change is you actually have to press buttons to get out of events and that's the that's the only real difference of the story uh, there are little um, like side missions you can do online with you like say your friends there's only like six of them they're kind of like they're based around the story but they're more just like fun little missions you can really do they're not they're not like tied into so you don't have to play them but you do get unlocked say uh, certain weapons for uh, multiplayer online if you do do these like stories and get loads of points so you can uh, so challenge your friends and try and beat the amount of points they've got so if you're doing it quicker uh, getting better kills like headshots that kind of stuff uh, but the main thing Battlefield has is the online play which is brilliant it works well the game modes are brilliant so you've got Russian Congress and you've got like um, Team Deathmatch which is, uh, is based around the maps but just in a small little section of that map but the maps are huge, like in Rush, it just gets bigger and bigger the map as you go but it's going to maybe even take you, if your team are not that good it can take you uh, like a couple of plays just to get through the whole and see the whole map so it takes longer for you to go through but as it's been out for quite a while you probably already know the maps I haven't got the um, DLC yet I'm hoping to get it for the PC but it's it looks really good, especially like the crossbow. That looks like a bit of interest in the uh, weaponry there. Uh, now going on to like how the game looks. It looks pretty good. It's one of the best looking games for the PlayStation, I think. But obviously it's not going to be as good as the PC version, which was well primarily built on the PC. And then they taken it over and then put it onto the PlayStation and Xbox. It looks, it still looks pretty good on the PlayStation. You can't really fault it. There are some like glitches where uh, some people like, if you kill someone, they may actually still look like they're actually about to move and shoot someone. They just don't fall down. But there's some little glitches like that. But other than that, the flying looks incredible. The whole map, it's nice and detailed. 
it's not like you have loads of little blank bits on the map. They've pretty much forgot everything, even the, even the parts where you can't even go are still filled in. Like, and that's say other games, like, say on the PC, like, um, two where you're not supposed to go, they've completely stopped. Uh, on the sound, the sound is pretty amazing. It's one of the best sounding games I think I've ever played. Like, the echoes when you go into a building so far in your gun are brilliant. You can hear the bits whizzing past you. Explosions sound like proper explosions, the buildings falling down, everything, even the jet fighters, they're pretty good, it's pretty good sound. Uh, the lifespan of the game is, or well, it can be quite, it's long. If you like shooting ups and you like love playing online, you're going to have a long time playing this game. But the story, it's, uh, you can probably get it done within, I don't know, I think it's, I did it in about 10 hours on the normal difficulty. I wasn't like rushing through it, but that will last you uh, 10 hours. But I use it, um, stories like, like on this kind of game just to get used to the guns and see what they're first like. But if you're playing multiplayer, that will take you a long time to unlock everything. For say um, online, the guns you have to unlock little attachments. So you got to unlock the sights. You got to unlock some ammo. Say for the shotguns, you got there's different types of ammo, like explosive ammo. Uh, also, like so, it's the sights ammo, like um, also grips as well. And you got to do this for each gun you do. It's not like, oh, these are now all locked for guns. you got to do it individually. So if you wanted to do every single gun, it would take you a lot, a quite a long time. But that's only the guns. You've also got the helicopters and the tanks. And like say, the Humvees as well. They all have different attachments they can have on. So which make their vehicles better. So like homing missiles, uh, radar, like better radar so they can sense enemies better. That kind of stuff. Uh, online it was like the team play on it is pretty good you can spawn on your team members you also get more points for healing them that kind of stuff so it's the majority of its team game it, you're gonna love spending like uh, playing on it uh, so for the gameplay I'd give it five out of five stars because it's brilliant graphics I'd give it I give it four because it's not better than the. No, it's been harsh, but it's not better than the PCs. It, it can't be better than the PCs, but it's just I know that it's not as good. The sound, I give it five. It's one of the best sounding games. Uh, the lifespan, I give it a five as well because you can play this for months and months. And well, with the new DLC, you can you can add on months after that, so you can be playing this game for years now. Uh, so overall, I'd, I'd give it five stars. It's a brilliant game. I definitely recommend it.